Hello and good morning. It's Anne Murphy here from Domus Blicity. How are you today? Coming in live for this macrame class. And let me begin by saying that I am no expert, but I will give anything a try. And if there's a pattern or instructions or video tutorials, I'm all over it. So um, I started doing my little macrame heart last night. I thought I'd better make a start on it because if I was to do the whole thing from start to finish, um, we might be here a couple of hours. So um, macrame is one of those things, one of those crafts that's making a big comeback. I can remember back in the 70s, and I was just trying to remember if I had done it at school or whether it was just one of those things that um, was popular. I remember French knitting was popular in the 70s too, and we were doing that as um, teenagers, but macrame was another thing. The old um, nail art, nail and thread art was another big thing that, uh, another thing that was really big back then, but macrame is really popular as far as wall hangings go, as far as jewellery goes, you know, you see the earrings with the um, fringe type thing, that's like a macrame knot. Uh, edging or like finishes on cushions um, so it's really popular and some of it's really expensive so um, this is the spool of um, rope that I got or cord uh, from the hardware for nine dollars and I probably used oh, about six meters of it and there's 50 meters in this roll so I've got lots for more projects uh, Plant um, hangers are another good thing that's really good and really easy to make. And it's like anything, if you've got a pattern and there's a video tutorial, you can just about make anything um, these days DIY yourself. And save yourself some money. If you see something in the store, I think I'd like to have that, but try and make it at home. And I know sometimes the supplies can be really expensive when you, when you buy it, but $9.00. I had this um, rod here at home already, but it's not, I wanted to um, have a stick. Um, my husband's just going to walk past in his box of shorts. Um, he might be able to quickly zip past me. <laughs> so there's my husband in his box of shorts. He's got to run to an appointment, so I apologise for that. Um, they, that's just life, I guess. So, um, why I chose a heart, it's February, it's Valentine's Day month, it's my birthday. I love February because it's my birthday and it's just a, a really nice <clears throat> time of year for me. And also, um, I found that uh, this pattern was really easy and I will drop the link to the pattern that I used and the pattern was actually uh, for using... Um, was to make bunting using t-shirt yarn. So you can make this heart pattern in a lot finer cord or t-shirt yarn or twine or whatever you like if you want to go for a rustic look. Um, but I just found it was really easy. So um, let's get started. You can stop and um, pause this video if you want to um, do it um, as you go. But really there's only, it's just tying knots. That's all macrame is. And all you need is your cord and a and a stick. Um, and we'll go from there. So I've got all sorts of control. I've got this um, tripod on a on a um, on a chair. <laughs> it's um it's all um, systems go here. Nothing professional here, that's for sure. So like I said, we've got the um, stick for the um, wall hanging to go on. And this pattern um, I'm using requires 12 pieces of yarn uh, or cord it um i think the longer the better because you can always trim them and you can also get a nice effect with the ends if you want to fray the ends for that fringe look so um, in hindsight i probably would have um, i did mine about 1.5 i think 1.2 meters long i did the length of the dining table i think that's about one and a half meters long, but I probably could have gone um, about 
two meters, two and a half meters. Sorry, I don't know what the um, uh, conversion is in, in, in inches and feet off the top of my head. But um, to start off with, you, I've got a um, cord here to demonstrate how you start off. And it's called a lark's head knot. And that's this is pretty easy. This is probably the easiest. But you get your cord um, and double it up. Slip it behind the rod. Put the two pieces of cord in together. I've got, gone around the wrong way, sorry. So have the um, loop at the front. <clears throat> Go in behind. And then just pull tight. And then you've got now two cords to start um, doing your pattern. And you'll see that when the pa patterns will refer to one, two, three, four, you know, six, seven, eight of the cords. So instead of it being just one cord, it'll refer to each single cord. So um, that's what that refers to. And in it, this pattern, I'm doing square knots. Um, I don't know if you can see that's forming the start of the heart shape already. And in this pattern, it'll tell you which um, chord number to go across to and start to do a um, square knot. And then you just keep going. And as you can see, it's starting to form the shape of a heart with the tops up there. So um, let me see if I can just bring this in a little bit closer. So you can see me tie the cord, tie the um, knots. Just hope this doesn't fall down. I'm still playing catch up after our weekend away with washing and it's been on and off raining. So I've been trying to get that dry and packed away. So, um, But as promised, I uh, wanted to come in and show you this craft for February, for our February challenge. Um, yeah, so the next part of the pattern is now to join the um, heart together, like to make that point, to start down to um, bring it into the heart shape. So let me see if that's going to show you. This is actually where my children um, hang their school bag. So um, it's been here since they've been at school. So it came in pretty handy actually for this particular craft. So to do a square head, um, a square knot, I think this was called a square knot, uh, you're going to need four strands of the um, cord. So you're going to take two from um, each of the ends of the um, previous two square knots to join it together. Now to, I wonder if this, I'm just trying to make it so that you can see. But uh, honestly, the um, the tutorials, the video YouTube tutorials are very, very clear and show you exactly what to do. So what you need to do is create a loop over the top of the middle two um, strands. Then this fourth strand goes over the top and then under the two middle cords, pull through and then tie. Tie that tight. Now that's just one part of that knot. Now you do the other side, create a loop over the top of the um, center two pieces of cord. The outside cord goes um, on top, loops under, pull through, and then tighten up. So as you can see, there's the center of our heart. And the pattern says to start from the middle. Um, these top rows I was starting from the outside or I counted along, but we want to work from the middle now out. So it wants us to do two more knots either side. 
so I'll be working I'll grab the next four pieces of cord starting from the left go over the center two pieces of cord the outside cord goes underneath and up behind the two center cords pull through and then tie so you're just kind of doing like a single knot I guess it is um, on top of the um, center two cords and then again on the other side so we'll do the other side now uh, over the um, grab the right hand side cord place it over the center two the outside cord goes over the top and then pull through and there you go and it's actually quite quick you can um, get through it <clears throat> pretty quickly so I'll just quickly do the next one starting from the left go over the center two pieces of cord um, outside cord goes over the top of that and then underneath the center two pieces of cord pull through and tie a knot and then do the right hand side over the center two over the top of that underneath the center two cords and pull through so now you can see the um, heart is starting to take shape I'll just do the other side um, really quickly uh, I, I will finish this off today and share a photo of it and some other ways that you can decorate it like I said this probably isn't the right stick I might be able to um, loosen these and get the stick that I want um, to put in it but let's keep going starting from the left over the center two pieces of cord the right hand side cord goes over the top underneath the center two pull through and pull tight so that's one half of the knot done now you do the right hand side over the top under the two in through the loop and tie now in hindsight um, I bought the four millimeter um, cord it's back to front but um, and this is quite sturdy enough, I think, for a pretty decent size um, pot hanger. But I think it's probably a little bit, well, it still works for me. Like, I don't mind chunky and rustic. Everything I do is rustic. But um, I don't mind this with cord. But it probably could have been done um, in a finer cord as well. But I don't mind it. So now I'm going to grab the next four pieces of cord just to finish this row off over the center two, over the top of that, under the center two, in through the loop and pull tight. Just making sure that it's all tight as you go. Do the other side to form the second um, part of the knot over the top under the two cords pull through and that's it so that's forming the heart sh heart shape so it'll just be a matter now of coming down to the point to finish this off um, you could tie a knot At the end and um, fray the end a little bit more if you want uh, depending on how much length I have left I might just do that uh, you might find that they're all a little bit um, uneven in length by the time you finish so just trim those up but that's um, pretty much it for um, doing your macrame of course there's um, lots and lots of other different uh, types of knots and different finishes but um, like I said there's um, 
so many different patterns and and it doesn't matter what width the cord is like you can do um, the same with embroidery floss to make those nice um, frayed earrings I don't know what the style of them is but they're like a big ring and then they've got like the fringe underneath and you could go to town and you'd make gifts for people or put beads on them or do them in colors that you um, that you like to match outfits um, you could probably buy just plain loops uh, from I don't know cheap shop or secondhand shop look out for um, macrame cord or big balls of twine or yarn from the thrift shops as well to save you even more money and just have fun because I've always encouraged people to do crafts because not only is it like if you're making something in particular for your home or for a gift that's coming from um, a place of love when you give it to someone but also it's something useful in your home but when you're using that creative side of your brain it allows for all the stress to go away you're not thinking about or worrying about things that you need to do you can allow other thoughts to come in you can find um, peace within yourself and just creating something with your own hands in your own time is very very relaxing and if you can be doing more of that instead of the worrying about the housework and everything else it's going to be a lot better for you and living your best life which is the theme for this year so I hope you catch the class like I said it's not I'm not going to be sitting here doing the whole thing for you but I will take a picture and show you um, the finished product have a go share your products in the group um, or your crafts in the group there'll be more coming in March um, next month so stay tuned for that thanks very much for watching bye